Well, it is extremely late. It is about, what time are we? 1 a.m.? Uh, midnight. And we just got a message. We got a stuck F-350. So I'm going to attempt to go yank him out with the uh, TJ. So this will, will officially be our first rescue of the TJ. So let me gather some of my junk here and uh, we'll catch up with you in the Jeep. So I'm not bringing too much. It doesn't sound like he's too stuck. All I'm bringing is a... Uh, two 30 foot straps, a couple of shackles, and a jacket because it is minus six outside. So there's our little, I'd call it a beast, but it's not, we'll call it a ladybug. So there's the ladybug. We're gonna get the scrap thrown in and we'll be on our way. Wow, I'm so glad I decided to check that. So I accidentally put it into um, picture taking mode. So I don't know how much of this video I got, but uh, gonna hope for the best and we're just gonna make our way over there But um, my headlights kind of suck. So <laughs> whatever it is, what it is, it's a Jeep. It'll be fine once we get some uh, light bars and light pods on here. But for the time being, we'll make do. Okay, so like I was saying back when we were leaving the uh, carport or garage there, I don't know how much of that I actually caught, but we have a stuck Ford F-350 with the 7.3 liter diesel. And of course, I'm driving the tiny tire Jeep, so it's a lightweight, but he insists he's not stuck very bad. So I'm going to head out and see if we can't get him out. Worst case scenario, I can drive them back into town and uh, somebody can get them out in the morning. But I don't want to leave somebody stranded. It's quarter after 12, midnight right now, and it's minus, I thought it was minus six, it's actually minus nine. So it's it's a little bit on the chilly side. So I'd much rather just, you know, at least put an effort into getting these guys out. So, or it's a guy and a girl, it sounds like. So fingers crossed, tiny tires here can do it. And everybody will be on their very merry way. So honestly, it's been like two years since I went to where this guy is. So I almost don't even remember how to get to this bloody place. Well guys, that's a fail. The freaking road is closed. Well, as you've seen there, the freaking road is closed. So now I gotta go all the way back into town. I gotta go Excuse the stupid air freshener in the front. I gotta go all the way back in town. So it's about a 20 minute drive back that way and double back all the way back through back roads. I don't know why they closed. Like, that's a main road. Why are they even closing a main road? Bloody city. If I'm not mistaken, there might be a, a shortcut we could take up here. But I don't know if we can turn left into it. That's my only concern. Yeah, that just, that is so irritating. You know, you drive 20 minutes down the highway to get somewhere, and now I gotta drive 20 minutes back, and then I gotta loop back through the backside, which, so it's gonna take me probably 40 minutes to get up to where these people are, but whatever, not much I can do about that. 
saves us probably about 10 minutes so now we got to go down these spooky back roads okay I think we're here yes so this is the main dirt road so now we go a few kilometers down this road without busting something so Officially made it to where pavement ends, so we're gonna uh, keep on trucking. Crossroads where you said to go down. No, I'm on the main road. Like, I just got off the main road. I think people call it the quad loop, I think. Okay, yeah, I'm all up. Uh, if you don't see me in like three minutes, I went the wrong way. That's actually what I wanted. I... To my left? Oh, over there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you were on the quad trail. Yeah, I can see you now, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, poke down to this dude here real quick. I'll see you in a sec. Yeah, man. Bye. Are you, you're the one with the dead drive shaft? Yeah, I'm trying to help my buddy out. Yeah, I was just talking to him on the phone. Okay, so I've got my straps all strapped right to the top of this hill here. Oh good, okay, well then I'll just bust the nut, I'll turn around. Yeah, it's literally like the stupidest little fucking little, you know. My front tire's sitting in the hole. That's it. You mean the house for two? Yeah, but it's literally, like yeah, I've got a ramp built and everything. It's just, we almost, with jumping in the box, almost had it. So really? It's going to take the little, 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 little anyways and then i'll bust the nut all right guys so we made it and we're getting a two for one so this gentleman came out to rescue his buddy that stuck a little bit back he's running 40s and the other one's running 37s so we're gonna see if tiny tires here can do it i i think so so i'm gonna bust the nut we'll flip around we'll hook some straps up and see what we can make of it all right so we are hooked. Well boys, we got one out. That was a pain in the butt. Let's show you uh Whoa. can't see shit out here, eh? Jeep weighs as much as one of his tires. 
Well, we're gonna give it a shot. I uh, I think I'll be able to get in there. No problem. Weight shouldn't be an issue. He doesn't look very stuck. So, hope you can see me. But I gotta turn this around because I can't see nothing. Well, I lost my uh, my holder for the GoPro. That didn't take long. Okay, actually it did take long because it's been over an hour that we've been here. We're just gonna creep on in here and hope I don't get myself stuck. I don't even know if you guys can see anything on the GoPro to be honest with you. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's a complete fail. My my Jeep is just way too light. I tried back and forth. I ended up just burying myself in three feet of snow and had to dig myself out. But uh, it's two o'clock in the morning and uh, the other guy that we got out with the F-350 with 40s went to get his F-150. Apparently what had happened is his uh, blew out a front drive shaft. So he was only in two wheel drive. So he went to grab that and I'm gonna stick around and see if, um, if both of us daisy chain together can yank him out he's much more buried than i anticipated like he's 37 inch tires and it's it's completely buried in there like i don't know if you can see down there yeah you can i hope you can see that angle like it is completely buried his bumpers touching the ground like people don't i don't want to say people lie but they kind of play down this situation they're like oh i'm barely stuck right and that's the only reason it came out because he said it was an easy pull but an easy pull turns into two trucks and you know two hours later so it is what it is we'll sit here and we'll wait for his buddy and we'll we'll see what happens yeah oh, she's stuck fuck. did it cut it oh it's all like a sheet of ice oh, what the hell eh for the back tire. that is super weird eh yeah. babe my fucking tires are so sad they're just ice and that's what they look like I was really hoping I could get both out so I could brag and yeah, be like, oh, I saved the two Fords. Now the Fords got to save the day. Oh, easy peasy. What a difference having a bit of weight though, hey? That's what I mean, you know, just a, an F-150 weighs double what? Almost double. You ready? Send it! Ready! Hey, let's go! Well, that made quick work of that. Amazing what a little bit of weight does, eh? Easy peasy. I gotta say, I freaking love that truck. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. He's going wheeling. Now he's gotta get on this. Should be alright. The forge just make everything look so easy. <laughs>
So as you see there, this is just a bloody ice rink right now. Was, uh, he, was, he was pretty stuck, but whatever. All in all, we got him out. We waited for his buddy to show up. So we were going to daisy chain together and we were going to get him. But man, let me tell you, I need to get my hands on another kinetic rope. All right, so I got to jump in here real quick. So basically what I was meaning by not wanting to spend money is the fact that uh, this entire group is all volunteer. There's no money exchanged. There's no insurance. No, nobody pays for anything. Everything is free. So going out and spending thousands of dollars on recovery gear all at once isn't feasible for me. So when everything got stolen, that was years and years of equipment and gear that was stolen from me. So it's going to take me some time to replenish that. But uh, until then, I'm going to start getting out on some recoveries with what I have. But if you're wondering, that's why I haven't had very many videos on my channel for recoveries lately is because of that. It's, it's going to take me some time to get back up there and you know, until they're at least till the winch and stuff shows up for the Jeep, it's, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do recovery. So, yeah, I just had to throw that in there. So hope you enjoy the video because these old school straps just don't do it. And I don't have a winch on right now. As you know, we just bought the Jeep, so it's not even really set up. But I seen this post so late that I didn't want to leave them hanging. So, but they were some super cool dudes and um, I'm glad we were able to at least help them out, help them get out. So. Yeah, I'm going to uh, end this here. I'm just babbling on and on and on. So, because I'm tired. So, I'm going to end it. And we'll see you all on the next one. Have a good night, YouTube. Thanks for watching.